Today we're going to be looking at generators and generators are a much more memory efficient way of creating Python code and we're going to cover all of this during this lesson. So the first question is what is a generator and how can you create a generator and in Python any kind of code that you create that contains the yield keyword is considered a generator. So here we have a for loop that says for i in range 10,000 yield i and that makes this function a generator. Now the yield keyword is used to return one value at a time and I also went ahead and wrote the equivalent as a for loop although there are some differences between these two. So as I mentioned earlier generators only return one value at a time while the for loop will return to us an entire list and what that means is that this actually has to create and allocate memory for this list while the generator doesn't allocate any memory for any list because it's only yielding one value at a time. It's not creating anything or holding reference to any of this, it's just yielding the values as they come. And one very easy way to demonstrate this is to go ahead and open or create a variable which is going to be a generator object. So right here we went ahead and created the generator and what you need to note is that if you go ahead and print next and add the gen object and run the program is that you'll get one value back and each time you run this you're going to continuously get one value back. It's always going to send you a value back and if you go ahead and just print the generator itself you will get a generator object. So it's not going to return a list to you and that's why it's so much more memory efficient. It's just a generator object which returns values to you as you request them and what makes this so great is that sometimes you'll have huge lists that you don't want to get all the data back at once but you just want to get one element at a time at a slower rate. This will make sure that you only get the data you need at the time you need it while when you create a list you need to create the entire list so this can take lots of time to load before you get any results back even if you only need 10 items from the list. Now it's also important to mention that generators aren't necessarily faster than lists because they don't really create lists. They only yield one value at a time, which when used in the right context can make your program a lot more efficient, hence faster. But it does not beat the for loop in terms of efficiency in creating lists. And the reason is that we don't get a list back from this, while here we do get a list. So in general, if you're going to use a whole list a lot of times, it might be better to generate the entire list and use it many times. Otherwise, if you just need to grab a few values, generators are going to be much more memory efficient because they do not create lists. You need to create lists from them. And to demonstrate this, I went ahead and created a generator function that actually returns values as a list. So inside here, I went ahead and created a temporary list. And for i in the generator, we just want to grab the first thousand values instead of grabbing the first 10,000 values. So as soon as i gets to 1,000, we're going to break out of this loop and we're going to have 1000 values in this list. So in this context, this list is going to perform much faster than the for loop. And that's only because we don't have to get all 10,000 values. We're only getting the first 1000 values and we can always decide to add to that later. Now, I also went ahead and created some code down here that times the functions. So here we have a time it function that runs the test 10,000 times for the for loop to get the speed from that. And we also have another one for the generator return, the one that returns 1000. And this will just calculate the speed difference between these two. So if we go ahead and run this, it will take a moment to calculate. But as soon as we get the result back, you'll see that the yield was 526% faster. And this again is only because we decided to return 1000 values instead of 10,000. But we didn't need 10,000 values in that context. Now if we go ahead and just run the generator, you'll see that it's going to be even 300 million times faster. It's going to be a huge number, or actually it's 350,000 times faster. And that again is because the generator does not create the list. It just creates a way of retrieving each item one at a time. And that's what makes it so memory efficient. It doesn't hold the entire result in memory. It only holds the current iteration for that moment. So for example, if you were to run a for loop in a program, you might see some data being created. You might have 10 megabytes of data created after the for loop, but after you run the generator, you'll still have the same amount of data that you started off with. It did not reserve anything. 
so it's extremely memory efficient. But do not confuse this 350 times faster with actually optimizing your program that fast. That's just how fast yield is compared to the for loop for that moment. We did not create a list from it and it's understandable that it's that much faster. And also you might be familiar with lists and list comprehensions. The generators have something that's very similar and I just like to call it a yield comprehension. So if we just go ahead and type in yield comp, we can go ahead and create a yield comprehension by doing what we usually do with a list comprehension, except we're going to use parentheses instead. So I for I in range 10,000. And this right here is going to be the equivalent to creating this generator over here. And we can treat this as a normal list. So if we create a list comprehension, for example, we'll just call it L, we can say we want to get I for I in yield comprehension. And if we print L, we should get all the values from that yield. So here we get up to 10,000 values, as you can see, was printed to the console. Now, when you retrieve all the values, you'll notice that it's not going to be faster than the list because you are getting all the values and creating a new list so that doesn't really speed up your program. But again, you need to keep into account that yield allows us to grab one value at a time. So if you only want to grab the first 10 values, it will allow you to do that without creating the whole list at once. And, and grabbing 10 values can be 100 times faster than creating a list with 100,000 values and then grabbing 10 values. And finally, if you look at the readability, this is quite beautiful, how short it is, how Pythonic it is compared to creating a huge for loop. So that can be another reason you want to use yield. But in general, just keep in mind that this returns one value at a time, keeping the resources of our computer to a minimum, giving us some really sweet performance. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't try to force using generators. Just use it when you know you don't need to use all that information at the exact same time. So you can save some resources and optimize your program. But in general, for small programs, there shouldn't really be any reason to use the yield. It's a really cool feature that Python provides and can make everything faster, but it's not quite necessary if you have small lists. But anyways, with that being said, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's lesson. If you have any comments or questions regarding yield and generators, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them. But otherwise, with that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.